We've traveled across the country to 30 states, putting on 80 camps to find you the nation's top quarterbacks. They have come here to Canton, Ohio to compete for the crown of dual champions. Yeah, cause you playing it with the best. best. And you know that we put them up to the test. Just see it? Just watch how they play it. They're really excited. They've done very well for an accuracy competition. Even the big guys sometimes can't do this. So it's really great to see these young guys out here competing. Let's go, let's go to be amongst the elite. Yeah, want to compete, perform, acts of great feet. Most of the parents tell me, I don't even care if we win, we're just glad to be here. Good morning, and welcome to the start of day two. So today we're finding out that we've got some young men that maybe we didn't expect to rise to the top. And that's really what this is about, is giving guys who are willing when the chips are down and everybody's watching can you deliver because ultimately all the mechanics and drills in the world can't get it done for you. You have to be willing to step up when the, the crowds in the stands and the lights are on. And that's what today is about. Today is about you have to compete regardless of the situation. And today we're seeing some guys step up that we didn't expect. Today what in my drill we're working on is we're just trying to get them set up for the, the accuracy competition and the agility competition. So what we're doing is we're working situational throws for each of those segments. And so we're really focused on how to get power into a football and how to take power out. So we're working on biomechanics of the body and the legs and the core. And then from there, we're working situational game throws like throwing uh, double move routes, uh, routes off play action and pressure throws. So a lot of situational stuff and then we're throwing mechanics in there like we always do. And so the kids are really getting some good teaching here as well as competition. How tall are you? 5'9". 5'9", see? Yeah. 5'9", I'm 5'10". I'm getting shown up by a 12-year-old. Well, right now what we're doing is we're in our gauntlet phase, so we got two throws up front where we're working a three-step drop pitch and a five-step throw. After they throw those throws, they're now going to make a throwing on the run where they have to sprint out to the right or left and make a throw on the move. And then from there, they make a fade throw into a bucket. And then from that, they have to throw a, a target throw through the goalpost on a line like the seam ball. So it's a, it's a game situational uh, uh, drill. It's under a time segment, so there is a timing uh, score to this phase. And uh, so it's a lot of pressure. You know, everyone's watching, so we get to kind of see how the kids perform under pressure. So it's a, it's a really fun event. And just rock with it. Now get sick with it. And just rock that's just with it. Sick. That's not human. That's fantastic. What are you more aware of? How you're perceived, how you look, what people think about you, or how you can make other people's lives better.